So what's going on this time? I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you without using media talk, situation, the collaboration have been. No, no, no. I'm telling you straight up how I talk. You hear it from me. I even got extra details that the media won't tell you because if you watch my um, lab, shout out to Ali Fitness on Instagram. I've been getting closer to Sudanese people ever since this took off. Now, yes, I am Sudanese. No, I don't want to speak Arabic in public because I'll, I'll explain why later, but I am from Sudan. Yes, I've said I'm from Arabia. That's true. I was born in Sudan and my family had moved to Arabia later on. That's where I grew up. I claim Arabia because I don't know much about Sudan, except I found I I know some things. I'm gonna say it all. Oh yeah, let me tell you first. Yeah, cool. So Sudan, ever since the fifteenth of Ramadan, which is I believe um the fifteenth Ramadan of the year one thousand and forty four Hijri, which is equivalent to the sixth of April twenty twenty three. Hijri calendar is different from Western or Gregorian calendar, so keep in mind. It is used in official uses in Saudi Arabia and other Muslim and Arabic countries, the Hijri calendar. So uh, the Hijri calendar is what features the infamous month of Ramadan. So 15th of Ramadan was 6th of April, a Thursday here. And, you know, that, that's the equivalent. A fight broke out. A fight that people felt this time, because a fight been going on before that day, but that day, rockets flew, okay? Airstrikes happened. They happened not in some far desert this time. They happened in the capital of Sudan, Khartoum. Khartoum, for English speakers, we're like, hey, Khartoum. The Arabic word is Khartoum. Say kh. White people can't say that. They say, ha. I say, ha. Ha, damn. Try it with your, with your white people. It's fine. Teach them about the letters if you know. Say, ha, to say, Ali. Ali. Fine. Fine to try. Anyway, ma. So, 6th of April, it turned to Call of Duty in the middle of Khartoum. Now, who who was it this time? Who Who's fighting who? And this is why I was so angry last video. I should have explained instead of just, you know, get angry. My friend. Now, Sudan used to be ruled by a dictator who was president for like 30 years. Okay, he only got taken off a few years ago, 2019. He came to power via a coup, a they call it a bloodless coup. Okay. And, you know, he just woke up, everybody woke up one day, and he was president. 30 years. I was born, he was president. And only 2019, he just got off. I'm 25 years old to think about that. 1989, a bloodless coup happened. He took over this, the country using a gun, but no blood was spilled. It was a bloodless coup. Now, Omar committed a bunch of, you know, He's a dictator, classic dictator stuff, right? Claimed a lot of people, uh, dissidents, critics, you know, usual. Um, and excuse my, my uh, 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 I hope I don't have to demonetize this. No, I won't. Grape, you know Grape? Okay. His campaigns and stuff he led while he was 
and power included graping of people. S.A., if you will. And I ain't talking GTA. Now, of course, they're going to deny him. They're going to deny claiming to ordered graping of people. Just like they're going to claim in this current war that they, you know. <laughs> but it's there, you know. Sexual violence. Except it's not some opportunistic pervert. But some of it is. But allegedly has been ordered. There's been a lot of uh, 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 previous wars where, you know, War crimes have been committed by Bashir and his administration, if you will. But he was in power. When you hear about the ethnic cleansing of a certain... See, I don't know too deep. I don't know too much about these so-called ethnicities that is, you know, present in, let's say, Darfur, Sudan. When you guys see these pictures of a starving kid, you know, that's what people think of when they see, when they think Sudan. Donate, starving kid. That's a real picture, but it's in Darfur. And part of the reason those kids look like that it's not because we're a poor country. In fact, I get so angry like I did last video because we have infinite resources. Not to mention, we have the history. When you hear about the ancient Egyptians, okay, that wasn't in modern day Egypt. It wasn't. That was a Sudan. All the mini pyramids where civilization actually existed. The bigger part of it was in modern day Sudan. Also, another fun fact, I was born in 97. When I was born, it's a fun fact, Sudan and South Sudan, that wasn't a thing. It was all one Sudan. South Sudan is the newest country in the world. You know, maybe besides Disneyland. <laughs> Now, it's newer than Disneyland. Part of the split and tensions over war, tensions over resources, if you ask me, I think that's stupid, okay? Plus, I think, again, and I get so pissed at the Sudanese people because we've had 30 years. To, we didn't just wake up and end up in this situation, you guys let it happen. You guys kept saying, don't talk about politics. My auntie tried, and I get pissed for that reason. Then people, the same people that chose to ignore the elephants in the room and, 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 and bend over, right? I get mad at those people. That's why I was so mad and calling out people by... I wasn't bullying. I wasn't trying to be funny. I was coming from a place of emotion. And I'm not going to apologize to anybody but my fans and my viewers because I don't like to be mad. It, it diverts your attention from what I'm trying to say. So to whoever rules next, it would be me if I... if. if I'd be the ruler if circumstances was different. To whoever, please. As I'm going to touch here on uh, soon, RSF has a lot of gold, you see. There's a lot of oil in those reasons that we're fighting has happened. Sudanese, man, when they try to convince you to hate your own kind out of propaganda and lead you to do ethnic cleansing, Part of his war crimes, Omar. Just realize it's not because it's not because of anything but money. Money that you're not gonna touch. These resources we've had, 
you keep hearing about them, but you don't really see no. How about you build roads? These resources just kept going to Omar and his gang, bro. They live in good, well, you see the country. I don't need to say nothing. It turned into gang banging. That's what being in the army is like. So cool. RSF was part of the government at some point. In fact, Hemeti, Hemeti, the fight right now is between the RSF and the army. But the RSF came to be as a as a as a part of this so-called army. But yeah, it was it was led by Hemeti, who got a full name. Hemeti is like um, I don't really like that name because it's not very fitting, right? It's like calling <clears throat> Sleepy Joe, for example. Joey. Oh, Joey, you're so cute, Joey. Matey. That's one of a hell of a... you saying it like you're trying to make him sound cute, okay? He might be cuter than the other guy, but, huh? but don't forget... These people participated in ethnic cleansing. Okay. Not virus computer cleansing. No, no, no. Ethnic cleansing. Campaigns included graping. Imagine it. Grape became sort of, that's bad. That's illegal. Well, imagine if they come and force it on you. Try to tell the world, they'll tell you, stop talking about politics. Pray for Ukraine. Man, if you don't pray for my two. So, by the way, correction, earlier I said the fight started on the 5th of April 6th. It was the 15th of April 2023. So, quick correction there. So, the RSF, how did they become... Okay. Long story short, RSF stands for Rapid Support Forces. So in 2019, after the uprising, the little revolution we had there, right? Things got hot for Omar. He just couldn't stay in power. And Hamiti was appoint, appointed a uh, 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 vice president at the time. Second only to him, appointed by Bashir himself. Hemeti and Burhan, who was head of the army army of Sudan, they, were, they, they, they teamed up and they even shook hands at the time. They were cool. And they decided that they were going to arrest Omar and give him to the, to the, uh, 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 what's the, what's the court in Geneva? You know, to be tried for war crimes or whatever. Cool. They brought out Omar in a public matter, put him in the car. You're under arrest. But, you know, they they then rebranded from what they were, which, um, by the way, I'm going to tell you, but they participated in a lot of dirty, dirty activities. Um, they were sent out as a muscle for pay, army for pay, right, by Bashir to be hired by other countries like Saudi Arabia. So when Saudi got their thing in Yemen, Saudis mostly relied on drones, on air, kind of like they're doing. Uh, and muscle, on, I'm sorry, foot soldiers. Some were Saudi, but the Saudis, this is something I'm going to tell you. Nobody going to tell you. The Saudis don't like to arm up a lot of their own kind simply because if they arm up everybody <laughs> or, or, or teach them how to, you know, military is, that could backfire one day and threaten their power. 
which is really their power is only enforced by the sword. As much as they love MBS and stuff, but they came to power. Ah, right, you get it, so. You know, don't let the music videos and stuff fool you about the war. They got soldiers. But most of the dirty dirty is done by um Sudanese and, and, and mostly Sudanese, because you know. So the Sudan exported muscle on the ground, and I got a source who is one of those soldiers who also fought in Yemen, right? Those were mostly RSF, if not all, when they went by their previous name. They were kind of like a faction of the army, a militia of sorts, but they were part of government. And they were led by this Hameti dude, who was second only to the president. And Burhan, who leads the current army, was always in his position. Right? So this is how you, get, you start to see. When they went to Yemen, they made money. They came back. They had the guns, the know-how, and the, the brand, this whole. They, they were a thing of their own, right? So, you know, just like any African warlord dictator kind of guy, you know, he was um, participated in ethnic cleansing in certain areas of Sudan, right? He took advantage of these situations and, and, and had gold, right? He, in, he got rich off of gold and other resources. Of course, that money didn't come to you, stupid. It went to his pockets. And if you ask me, I believe he started plotting on the chair he just took Omar out of. Only one problem, though. Burhan, who was technically the current president, who's the leader of the Sudanese army, they started to bump heads. Now, when they first arrested Omar to end this revolution, sure, Omar got taken out. He got tried, put in jail, cool. But the people were promised a civilian government by, uh, led by a civilian appointed leader, right? Normal. Within the next two years. Until then, the army holds control of the place. Every time those dates get closer, they start to ask for extensions. The RSF, Hameti, one of his concerns was like, two years? No, 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 no. That's too short. We need at least 10 years. Hmm? 10 years of what? Taking gold? He said it's not an easy process for the RSF to merge with the army and become one army to protect you, my friend. So what's the solution? Well, it's definitely not what happened. So yeah, this whole thing is really about power. They're, both of them keep fighting over the chair. Every time the promised date comes, they're either extended, and the tension between Hameti and Burhan becomes a little bit more. See, because power struggles are nothing new, okay? Sometimes they happen in a dynasty, like in Al-Saud, between brothers or cousins, like in the case of Muhammad bin Naif and Muhammad bin Salman, right? Or Muhammad bin Naif kind of got pushed away. He's lucky he got pushed and not executed, because that happens, right, within a family. And they happen even in the Western world, such as in the U.S., where Trump has been arrested as of recent. And you cannot tell me that Trump got arrested because he did crime, but nah, Sleepy Joe is not weaponizing. Come on, bro. How come Trump will get arrested, <laughs> but not a uh, hunty hunt? And I'm not saying anyone should be arrested. I don't wish that on any man, but... I'm saying power struggles happen. 
just like Burhan and the RSF from AT, it happened. But the way they got handled in Sudan crossed many lines. Because see, in every country, the army or armies are there to protect you, right? Well, what do you call it when the army treats you? Like they're supposed to protect you from the enemy. But what happens when they treat you like the enemy? The rocket hit you. No, they didn't hit people. They hit the RSF. Come on, bro, stop it. Stop it. They took the battle to Khartoum and the airport, commercial airport. They even hit a plane for the Saudis. I don't know if it was the Saudi Airlines, but they hit a couple planes with people in them as they about to take off. Using planes. What? So you don't mind striking and shooting rockets at your own people. The army's there to protect you from the enemy. But right now, Sudan, it looks like you are the enemy. And the reasons for these attacks can't, they can't suffice any, they don't make sense. You can't justify them. No matter how much I tried to play devil's advocate. Now, to be fair, the army did use the planes first, as far as I know. And uh, according to neutral Western media, shout out to the ones who did report, both sides are saying the other started first. And according to my sources on the ground, see, the RSF and Burhan have 100,000, or roughly 100,000 soldiers. The others got, the, uh, the army got planes, and RSF got anti-air, but very old school kind, you know? Not a big machine, anti-air with the soldiers, foot soldiers. So the battle, has entered Khartoum, the capital. And according to these two, uh, 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 you know, power-hungry monsters here, want to be dictators, right? It was supposed to be a battle, a military operation that takes two days. It has extended well into today. And the RSF soldiers, have used the capital city where I had family members who had to relocate, right? They're treating it like it's a Call of Duty map, entering people's homes, sometimes if you're there or if not, and hiding in people's homes. And the planes started to fly lower, almost like, ooh, what up, bro? Yeah to see who's there before they strike. And they're supposed to strike at them, but there's people in the place. Sometimes I had a distant family member. I've heard this from family. But he was in his own home, in his own backyard kind of thing. And the RSF was shooting, not at civilians. They were shooting at a plane using an anti-air RPG sort of thing. The plane come, pew, they missed. But when they missed, you know a bullet that's meant for the plane is big, right? They missed, and that bullet landed on top of homie in the stomach. He went out in his own home. They told people stay home, but then a country at war, um, it enters a level of lawlessness, right? And like I said, armies and government people over there, before any war, they already kind of moved like um, gangbangers with a uniform. They rob, they steal, they ill, you know the word. And now in this lawlessness, when they do enter people's homes, some people ain't in their homes. They come back to their homes in the city and find that the door 
has bullet shots around where you open it. They enter and find soldiers chilling using the AC. Hmm? They say, yo. But they're so nice that they even walked you out in your own house. What? Of course, needless to say, you got money in your house, buy buy the money. Who stole my money? I'm going to file a police report. Ha ha ha. There's no more police. It's the purge. What else you want? An ambulance? Ha ha ha. You better find a way to the hospital. That's if it's working. That's the current situation, but you don't hear about it. Unlike Ukraine, that I can't go anywhere without pray for Ukraine. Hey, I'm not cold hearted. And like I said, shout out Ukraine. I got peoples in, in Ukraine. And they tell me, yo, it's okay here. Shout out to them. It's okay in some parts. Sudan is not okay at all. The cap, it's already, it was bad before the war, let alone now. Electricity couldn't. People were getting cut off every couple of days. Like, that's normal. Not to mention, they cut off internet and stuff. Like, it became independent efforts. And right now, food, <laughs> food, clean drinking water is hard to find. There's a guy on Instagram. He had someone, he's like, oh, water became valuable. Who cares for these people? And soldiers were in the street, pop anybody. They don't know who's a civilian or not. They don't think twice. Pop. Oops. Hmm. But when you break it all down, all of this over, over, over a seat, a power. So then these people, you let this happen. Now, I'm gonna speak to the to the to the dictators. And what I think about it, I don't know. I think that I should have fe- listen. I told bro the story, and it's relevant to what I'm saying here. And if this don't sound crazy, imagine Sleepy Joe and Trump beefing and they start airstriking in the middle of Florida. Crazy, right? Yeah. Turn Florida to a war zone. Well, that's that's exactly what's happening there. Over there on seats. Not about nothing important. And this is what I was going to say, the story. So one time I was in a club. I don't hit the club like that. I used to. And there was a chick, a little white girl. Thick, batty, you know, standard. You know, what you imagine if it, that thing is fine. Huh? Mm-hmm. But listen, bro. I was on demon time. I wanted to take her home. I wanted to take her home and and, 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 and and do my thing. Right? Like I said, I'm I'm mature now. I'm not I don't hit the club and do these things. I'm here YouTube. It's a Friday. Yeah. I'm hitting this club. Huh? So hit subscribe before I hit these clubs again. Forget about you. Boom. Seems that Shorty is into black men. Cool. Not because she's into me, but because she danced with me a little bit. And then there's another dark skinned fellow over there, bald head. I had dreads at the time, you remember? Now, me being on Demon Time, you know, me, I'm successful because I don't give up. I don't take no. I mean, I don't know how it sounds weird. I take no. Like I said, but. I go after what I want, and I don't care who else wanted it. I, hey, bruh. Now, at the end, 
I ended up vibing with the dark skin fella. He's a nice dude. All right, I'm kind of street with it. All right, I'm kind of urban. He he's a dark skin fella with a suit and tie, but no suit. But he seemed like he worked a job. He's a little older. I was kind of young at the time, you know. I wasn't even twenty. She was older, but it is what it is, you know. But I'm on demon time. <laughs> I turned to R. Kelly, but not in a way where it's under. Anyway, I vibed with the dude, ended up being cool with him. Just another black man. It's Canada, all right? So we chose to be Canadian about it. And I told him, you know what? I'm going to go kick it with the guys. You want her? I'm going to fall back. Go ahead, bro. All right? I'm going to catch you later. Nice to meet you. She still came back, you know, uh, I got her Snapchat. Now, how is this relevant? Let's pretend this white girl is Sudan, the country. And I'm the RSF. And the, the other black guy is Burhan. Now, we could have fought about it, me and him, physically. But then neither me or him would have had the girl or the country. She would have spooked. She would have left and went home with some other dude. But that's exactly what's happening. Y'all could have went. I could have went the political route. Y'all been sitting in offices anyway. Who appointed you? Well, right now... Whoever wins is going to control the empty land. Look, if you look at videos of Sudan right now, and whoever wins will be remembered as the guy who took over that way. So a revolution will happen at some point. Even if your army protects you now, and you rule for another 20, 30, these guys gonna get old. New generation gonna be there. Maybe if not them, maybe if they're complacent, like the older ones, their kids gonna take over. It's gonna be a matter of time for you, son. So whoever ends up president, whether it's these two, whoever rules next, please. You're gonna rob, you're gonna give money, I get it. That's why we do, you rule, I get it. But don't don't take all the gold. Build some roads. Look at Saudi. They're a dictatorship, kind of. A, 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 a kingdom. But at least they do good for the, you know, Aramco. Cool. Like, you don't got to take it all, bruh. Share. Legalize. Because people do it already. Tax it like you do. Separate religion from, ah, uh, give freedom. Then people will forget that you're a dictator. They're going to be like, he's good. They're sheep anyway. But what's going on now is horrible. Getting in people's houses, taking the stuff. People are leaving. Now, I got a message for the rest of the world. Hit like, smash subscribe. It's your boy, AK. Keep coming back. Over here, you get raw, unfiltered. Well, I filter uh, the curse word, but that's it. I don't filter truth. You get it, how it is. No media mumbo jumbo. All right? You don't worry, you're coming May 15th. Music video, a couple days, tap in, keep subscribing. Share it, because C11, Bill C11 in Canada. If you don't know it, look it up. They're censoring us. I'll see you in the next one.